women are supposed to get married at, by a certain time and then have children and then be housewives. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Good Talk. I'm your host Sarah and we're joined by our friends today. Yeah, so my name is Justin. I'm a psychology undergraduate from NTU. I'm Sarah. Um, currently in year one in SMU doing business management. My name is Barani and I'm a current year three student at Nian Poly. So today we'll be discussing about gender roles in Singapore. So to start off, I just wanted to ask you guys, what are some gender roles that are popular in Singapore? Uh, I feel that there is a pressure for guys to be able to learn how to drive and also to be able to uh, be good at it. It's like, I don't really work well with manual cars also, like boys are supposed to. I would say that driving and driving manual cars is like, it's a more subtle gender role that I've experienced before. One example would be that guys have to be the man of the house, right? And like women are supposed to get married at, by a certain time and then have children and then be housewives. Hello. But the thing is, uh, because society is changing and evolving, there is no right or wrong to um, what we are supposed to do. You know, um, having said that, what are your thoughts on these gender roles? I think it's quite outdated to, to think that um, uh, men are supposed to fulfill a certain set of responsibilities and roles and like as you know the generations go by and the years go by and women are showing themselves and everyone else that they are capable of doing the task that men are supposedly only capable of doing my thoughts on it is that it's great i mean we shouldn't bound women to do things that men think they should do i think it's a great step forward i see how this like became more prominent because of as generations come, right, things like this, like all the ideas, they get brought forward. I think now like we're getting more like modernized and then we kind of have more of our own ideals. Like we feel like we want to do what we want to do. Like we're stepping out of the traditional side. So I think it could improve. Yeah. Where do you think such roles come from? So as a mass comm student, the media is all over it. I mean, come on, <laughs> like everywhere you see, um, gender stereotypes is always enforced in the media, um, be it advertisements, print, everywhere. Um, so it can be like your stereotypical um, grocery shop ads. Anyways, just see the moms, the one that does the shopping and um, you don't see the dad anywhere. Clothing, men need to wear very proper, plain, boring prints and women have the more um, outgoing, colourful colours. So I think instead of it just coming from our grandparents, um, even though we are living in so-called modern times, some advertisements are still portraying old values and beliefs. Yeah, I, I agree with that also. Um, I think movies, like, I mean, that's part of the media, but I think movies actually do play quite a big role. If they're not buff, they are either like probably really smart or many of them actually don't express like uh, very deep emotions and all that. Yeah, so I think that actually may perpetuate some gender stereotypes and gender roles. But then again, um, I think uh, as much as media may perpetuate those gender roles, it actually can um, also make changes to that as well. So if there are, if there are more characters that are being featured to be less uh, stereotype, I mean less stereotypical than usual, then mm -hmm. uh, that would that can actually help to change uh, people's impressions of what uh, men should be doing or what women should be doing. Yeah, so media can be a, like a double edged sword. So, how does gender roles actually affect youths in today's society? Based on statistic data, right, um, maybe a little nugget uh, of information for you to take home from this episode. One in four women uh, require treatment for mental illness compared to one in 10 men. Um, this is because men are less likely to voice struggles with mental illness and even thoughts of suicide. There's this phrase that keeps coming up. It says, boys should not cry. I feel like there is a perception that men don't like to show their weakness because of the societal expectations that we put up on social media. However, expressing emotions is not actually a sign of weakness, but of strength and courage. Maybe in relationships, 
like sometimes like it's expected of the guy to be more um, protective to like provide you know that kind of sense and then a girl should be more like nurturing and it really kind of affects us in a way like how we um choose our life partners also how we view our friends also actually my input would be that let's say because i'm in a comms uh, course right now and when I was applying for poly, um, I was discouraged from going to like a comms or like a, a course, this course, because it was generally viewed as like feminine and only like girls go to this kind of course and I should actually go for like engineering and not like a design course. This kind of uh, stereotypes can actually affect youths because it affects their decision to do something they have a passion for and it can make them regret their choices. I mean, the effect of, you know, enforcing gender roles is that they won't be happy, lah, basically. Yeah, so I remember I watched this video on YouTube. So it's about a male preschool teacher. So normally when we think of preschool teachers, we think of females. The guy said when he when he first took on the job, like um, cho- children were scared of him and then parents were doubtful of his capability as a preschool teacher. But in the, eventually he was able to really excel in his job and the kids actually do like him. At the beginning, it may be a bit hard to go against these like gender stereotypes because people unconsciously just uh, subscribe to such goals and stereotypes. As we close off, I just want to ask you guys a very last question, which is how can we be more sensitive towards gender stereotypes in Singapore? I think if you're able to do a certain role well enough, the people who impose those gender roles will realise that uh, you're coping well and you're able to perform well in whatever role that you're being placed in. I think actions will speak louder than words. That will help them to realise that maybe those gender roles are not necessarily helpful. So for me, I believe in the power of numbers. The moment we start to normalise it and like everyone comes together and say, hey, this is okay, this is all right, there's nothing wrong with it. I think that's when change will start to happen. It would be best for us to not also like impose our opinions on others also. Like especially online, like people can be very brutal. We should exercise being more tactful with our words lah. Like being more understanding that everyone has their own views. Let's not bring them down and actually like lift each other up instead. Thank you guys for sharing as we learn how to be more aware of gender roles and the effects of gender roles. So share with us your takeaways from this episode down in the comment section below and let us know what topics you want us to discuss about next. This has been a good talk. Till next time. Bye! Bye.